everyone, welcome back to another beautiful, amazing Bloxburg video. Don't know how it's going to be beautiful or amazing, but welcome to another video. You'll see if I go over here, uh, when you move it, these monitors stay here. But what I'm going to show you is if you follow me on Twitter, you know, link in the description if you do want to, by the way. You'll be able to create this kind of thing. And if we quickly move that mat here, you can completely move this whole thing and in fact we even have cables behind it i'm not gonna be showing you how to do that i'm just gonna do monitor setups for this video uh but if you want to through this you can create like a whole a whole amazing setup kind of thing uh with you know great cre cre uh, creativity over it anyway i've been recording for three minutes already so i'm gonna actually get into the video now all right okay well the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab a block real quick and oh yeah delete we're gonna quickly make this uh just a floor and the reason why i'm making a floor like this is because you can completely uh copy and paste it um if it's built into a floor like this and I'm also going to go over here and just put two of these down. Obviously, you don't have to put two of these down. You can just do it on a uh, on a normal desk. I kind of just want to make it look good because it's a video. So, yeah. Um, Can my icons load in, please? <laughs> right now, this bit you don't have to do. I'm just going to quickly make the desk and then I will be right back to the video. Right, I'm going to grab... I'm not going to do that. I'm going to grab this. I'm just going to put it on the back. I'm going to delete that because I don't want that. Uh, I'm also going to paint this a darker colour for a mount, like a monitor mount. Uh, obviously, you can do these with stands. You just basically do the same thing, but then put stands on the back. I'll show you how to do it on one monitor at the end to make it uh, on a stand. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, is, or what you're going to want to do first if you want it to be mounted, is I'm going to quickly bring this, uh, like, that. Uh, actually, I'm going to bring it in a bit because this desk is a lot smaller than the one that I had over there. Is that roughly even? Right, okay, then I'm going to go into build, uh, or, you know, I'm going to get these structural beams, or structural planks, sorry. We're going to get a vertical plank. We're going to do it from the very top of that to the very top of that one. And then we're going to go to the middle and to the middle. And there you go. As you can see, if we go paint it black with a, a smooth plastic look or whatever kind of texture you want it, I suggest going for smooth plastics so that it looks like just a plain black off screen. And then we can go delete these pillars here, and as you can see, it looks like it's floating, uh, but obviously you can attach that with, like, uh, 3D bits, 3D shape kind of things. But because there was technically pillars uh, uh, attaching it to that, it may be floating, but you can move it with the uh, with this floor that you place down. And that's why I've placed a floor down with it. In fact, if you do want to add, like, a back panel to it to make it look like it's not completely floating, uh, I'm just going to use these wooden planks here. And as you can see, because it was only, like, one away from it, it's just, it's completely attached. We're just going to make it a white, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so technically, this isn't actually attached to the monitors. This is kind of just for show, but it's also... Uh, well, yeah, no, it's entirely for show, actually. You can delete that, and the monitors will still float. And... Yeah, and it'll, it'll stay like that. I'm just going to bring that back. Which is also a way of creating one of the wall-mounted monitors if you don't want it on a desk mount. Uh, wall mounts are quite good looking, actually. So Right, okay, so then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring it out roughly uh, to the side and down a bit. Uh, I want this monitor to be a bit smaller just because I feel like monitors on the sides should be small. I don't, I don't like it when all of them are the same. It doesn't look right. So, this is what I'm doing, but it's all it's all on personal preference, really. Right, okay, so I'm not going to do it from the top. I just want to add a little bit onto the side, uh, just to make the monitor look a bit smaller. So, it's not exactly the same size. And then we're just going to go and do the same on this side. Right, okay, there you go. So, as you can see, those monitors are roughly the same size. Obviously, when you're not recording a video and you're not rushing it. Uh, I say rushing it when you're not doing it reasonably quickly to be able to get the video out right okay so obviously this one was just simply three monitors uh like all of these ones here but obviously without the ultra wide if you want to add the ultra wide you simply do the same but you make these pillars taller on each side so we're going to bring it out just a little bit further than uh these monitors here like that was that roughly yeah and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make it a little bit higher i say a little bit higher make it a lot higher we're just going to go copy and paste this we're going to go copy this again and then we're going to go about there is that and obviously, because it's on a straight line like the uh, other one, it doesn't really matter if you do it from the actual pillars or not. And there you go, you've built an ultra wide, and then you just basically lift that up a bit, and then build off to the side. And again, yeah, no, just checking this is still movable, which it is, so it tends to help. Okay, so next up, we're building the streamer kind of one uh, that I shown earlier. Uh, we just built this one, but we're going to build this one now. Right, okay, so for this one, it's going to be a little bit different. Um... 
I can't even remember how I built it last time. Okay, so then what we're going to want to do for the second monitor is I'm going to go grab another one of these here. Uh, now, this one I'm not going to have attached to this arm here. I'm simply just going to build the monitor on top of uh, on top of this cube, basically. And then we're basically going to put another cube on it and just drag it out a bit until, <laughs> until we like it. And that is literally how I'm going to build that monitor. And there you go. You've got... Uh, okay, it does look a bit weird. Maybe for this one you want to make that the same size, but it's kind of a personal preference. Right, okay, so for the next one we're going to have basically the same as this, but with a wall-mounted TV. So we're going to we're gonna get rid of that. There we go. And then we're going to go and place a wall behind it, which means uh, I need a wall. <laughs> it does kind of help a little bit. Now, you can actually, uh, if you go into decorate and electronics, which is there, you can simply just place a wall-mounted TV above it. But in my opinion, it just, the scale is not good. The proportions are not good. So I'm simply going to build some, well, one exactly the same as this, really. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift this up a little bit, and uh, I'm basically going to do, going to do the same as I did for this. I'm simply just going to put this on top of it. And there you go. That was that was fairly simple. And again, as you can see, this one is like completely movable with the TV on the, the stand and everything like that. Same with this one here, and also this one. There we go. We're just going to do uh, that, because for this one, we're going to do just a simple... A simple single ultra wide. There we go. So I've just placed that in the middle so that we can get it, you know, roughly the right proportions, uh, the right size on both sides. Sorry. Um, although now I've done that, I want to make sure that these are the same height because it can mess it up completely otherwise. And then normally I would simply just grab one of these and I would just put it across uh, like like this, and then I kind of just say, "There you go, boom, ultra wide." But I kind of want to make it curved, and I've never done this before. Okay, so I've just you know tested to make sure that those are you know all the same. Uh, all the same like lengths away and i'm gonna attempt this right oh wow this is gonna be huge and then we're gonna go and do the same like there this is gonna be a very very large ultra wide i'm just saying yeah i, I quite like that actually okay so now i'm gonna make a monitor uh that basically well it has a it has a normal stand which i mean it's quite easy actually it's probably a lot easier than all the ones without stands because you can simply just do this and then you just basically like move that i'm gonna move it back just once so that it doesn't look too weird okay so if i was doing this easy i would simply just place like a black uh like you know one of those boxes on top by doing this which you know that's very very simple and obviously you should probably do that if you uh, if you want to, I guess. What I'm going to do, though, is I am going to do something of which I didn't think I would end up doing. Then we can delete that, which is going to check it's still movable, of which it is. Right, well, if you did enjoy this video, then, you know, go down below, smash the like button, subscribe. Thank you so much for 520, 525 subscribers. It is really, really appreciated. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below which setup uh, you like the most or, you know, what your plans are with, uh, with this valuable information um it'd be kind of interesting to know as well as that i post uh, the builds that i do like this one for example on twitter so you know if you want to go see more of that go follow me on twitter that was over there and it also was higher i, I moved it around so it's no longer like that so yeah you know link description discord everything's kind of there and i hope i'll see you in the next one goodbye intro play